I'd like to welcome to the podcast today's guest, who is Stacy Spielman, the Director of Marketing for Gurney's Inn in Montauk. For those of you unfamiliar with Gurney's Inn, it's a massive uh, resort and a hotel's been around for, oh, it's like 60, 70 years, right on the cliff side of uh, Hither Hills in Montauk, overlooking the ocean, one of the most beautiful spots on earth, in my opinion. Um, and I uh, pulled you because I thought it would be nice if we spoke about all of the services that are offered there um, and uh, all the different aspects of it. And I guess to begin with, I, well, I know, I mean, it's a spa, it's a restaurant, it's a hotel, it's a beach, it's all these things, and you can tell me about them. But first, let's Let's talk about, I'd like to ask you about um, what's going on there now. We're going to be, yeah. uh, this is coming up is New Year's Eve. And what what's, uh, how is it decorated and who's going to be there and what kind of groups? And tell me about it. Sure. Yeah. So I think while people typically think of Montauk as the summer destination, there's really a ton that goes on in the off season. And I think people would be pleasantly surprised when they're out there to see how much is going on. And as you mentioned, there's tons going on at uh, Gurney's Resorts. We just redid our spa and it reopened about six months ago. So definitely, um, if you're looking for that beach experience, you can have it, but from the indoors. <laughs> um, the, the spa is fully renewed and everything is glass. So you can see right out to the ocean from almost every room in the spa. Um, so if you're looking for a really healthy and relaxing getaway, we've got something for you. If you're looking for an exciting New Year's getaway, we're doing a pretty large New Year's Eve party. We're calling it Midnight in Montauk. So everyone from, you know, couples, singles to families are welcome to come and join us. We're doing a uh, dinner in our Scarpetta dining room. So you can come and join us for a nice dinner before you head over to the party, which is being hosted in our Regent Cocktail Lounge. So we're going to have everything um, from live music with a band. Uh, the band is called Rain. It's a seven piece band um, from J Riz Orchestra. Their music covers every genre, every decade. So there's really a little bit of everything for, um, for people, no matter what your age is. We're offering a really awesome canapé menu. So we'll have some little, little bites like lobster rolls, uh, tuna um, with little crispy chips. We're doing some steak bites and empanadas. So, you know, we're kind of full service over New Year's. We've got a little bit of everything for everybody. What the, um, are, is public invited to this, this party? Yeah. Yeah. What? So not only hotel guests, um, yeah. but, you know, anyone who's local or if you want to just make a night of it, um, the party is open to everybody. When does it start and how late is it going to run? Yeah, so the party will start at nine o'clock and uh, we're offering open bar, canapes all night, music all night, um, official end at 1 a.m., but I think we'll probably see some people go a little bit later than that. <laughs> what um, what changes have, uh, you mentioned the spa being re redone. Uh, mm -hmm. What, how is it different from how it was a year ago in terms of how it looks when you enter it and what, what, yeah. are, what are the changes? So the spa was fully redone um, basically from the ground up. Um, the construction started prior to COVID. So there was a few delays along the way, but it's now been fully reopened. Um, the seawater pool was completely redone. Really, it looks like a completely new experience. Um, so anyone who's been there in the past might remember it was not as visually appealing um, based on, you know, being in, like you mentioned, such a beautiful seaside um, location. Now, as soon as you walk in, you have all the glass walls behind you so you can see directly out onto the beach. 
And what's really cool is that we have four new indoor and outdoor treatment rooms. So if you're getting a massage, you can open the door, you hear the sounds of the waves crashing right in front of you, and they have little peekaboo windows that you can open. So you still have privacy, but you get that open air feeling all year long. So if you're you know, looking for a really nice escape, the spa is the place to be. One of the things that I always thought was an interesting change for this for the place was for many years they in the in the patio outside the uh, L shape of the two different uh, dining rooms yes. uh, was a uh, a little ice skating rink. Is that still there in the winter now? And what changes I saw at yeah. back then? I don't remember if they carried over into the winter or not. Was you had fire pits out there which were wonderful. Yes. So what's there now? What's there now? Yeah. So we still have the fire pits. Definitely a great destination. It'll keep you warm <laughs> on a cold winter's night with a little glass of wine or, you know, a nice hot tea. Um, but the fire pits are obviously really popular during the summer. We always have live music over the weekends. And we're, while it's still, it's a little cold now, but um, we're still serving cocktails and light bites out there. So, you know, it's nice to get outside a little bit in the winter and the fire pits will keep you warm. And uh, talk a little bit about the restaurant itself. What's the menu like? Is it is it Italian or is it, what is it? Yeah, so we have a restaurant called Scarpetta, which is a classic Italian restaurant. Um, there is one here in Manhattan where I am actually based. Um, and we opened in uh, Montauk about seven or eight years ago. And the menu is just really delicious. Tons of fresh pastas, a lot of local seafood um, and crudo. So you can really get a little bit of everything. If you're looking for a piece of meat, we have um, lamb and veal on the menu. We've got all different kinds of fish options and really amazing desserts. Um, we've got some chocolate. We've got a little panna cotta. We always do a little side of biscotti. And what's my favorite part about the restaurant is the bread that gets served at the beginning of the meal. It's all freshly made and we serve a, um, it's almost like a, a pepperoni or salami roll. So little meats rolled up in a, um, almost like a little calzone and it's served with uh, eggplant caponata, a little bit of butter, and then some olive oil on the side as well. So it's definitely a little indulgent, but it'll keep you full and uh, <laughs> always goes great with a glass of wine. There have been, uh, I think over the years, um, many celebrities and interesting people who have stayed there. And one of the earliest ones that I remember, and I've been around for a long time, as you know, was Richard Nixon. Um, right. He wrote his uh, acceptance speech out in Montauk uh, and uh, for the Republican nomination, I believe, in his, for his second term. Yeah. And he also good. was there numerous other times. In fact, um, I had taught, I, I have written a book about the Hamptons and in it, uh, Edward Albee, who was a neighbor, a playwright, mm -hmm. He, he describes in the preface to the, my book about looking out his window and seeing Richard Nixon and his wife walking along the beach with about 10 security guards. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's cool. amazing. So the, and the inn sits up high on a cliff. You could never get it legally done like that today. That's it, correct. It's zoning yep. and it's absolutely stunning. Yes. And who are some of the other people who've come to Gurney's over the years that you could that you know of or sure. don't know that list? That's a great question. Um, obviously, we've had our celebrity spottings, um, and we try to keep people's privacy uh, top of mind. We know a lot of people when they're trying to get away, you know, want to have some um, anonymity. But you know, we've had musicians, we have TV personalities, and of course, lots of um, reality TV stars who are coming out for, you know, uh, to be seen on property over the summer. So, you know, anyone from the Real Housewives of New York and New Jersey to um, some really big name celebrities 
Um, we've had Scarlett Johansson and Jennifer Lawrence on property. We recently had um, some athletes come by and hang out over the summer at the fire pits. They love to, you know, entertain their friends out there. And we've also had a lot of DJs, which is kind of interesting. You know, a lot of nightlife personalities who are coming out and, you know, people come with their families and they're bringing their kids so they can spend time at the beach and really have a unique experience where they're not, you know, being hounded by paparazzi or, um, you know, bothered by people asking for an autograph. So it's a really special place. I, how many, what, when it's full, how many people are staying at Gurney's Inn? It's, it's, the number must be five, 600. Um, it's probably around there. So what's really interesting is that we have accommodations for um, really a variety of groups. So if you're coming as a couple, of course, we have, you know, one bedrooms, but we also have a bunch of suites, two bedroom suites. We have cottages that have multiple bedrooms um, that are really sort of like independent little houses with kitchens. So it's sort of full service, depending on what you're really looking for. Um, you know, we could have on a summer night, you're right, probably somewhere around five or 600 guests on property. Um, we Right now we have about 158 guest rooms all together. So there's definitely room for everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we're actually the largest resort um, out on the East End. So, um, you know, open year round, we have an option for everyone. And um, uh, I, I talk a little bit about the Montauk Yacht Club. Uh, that that was built by Carl Fisher when he tried de developing Montauk in the roaring 20s. Yes. Uh, he failed, but he built a whole bunch of big properties in Montauk, including that. In, re in recent years, Gurney's has bought the Yacht Club. Correct. And uh, as near as I can tell, it's probably one of only two places on the whole East End where yachts of 200 feet or 150 feet can get in. You know? Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about what's going on there. I know it's closed until spring, but... Yes. So Gurney's uh, purchased the Montauk Yacht Club about five or six years ago. Um, so it's currently called the Gurney Star Island Resort. Um, but like you mentioned, the marina is really massive and it's one of the largest in the Hamptons. Um, I think we have over 200 slips. So between the 150 guest rooms at Star Island, you've got another 200 uh, marina slips. So any given day, again, in Star Island, you could have a few hundred people who are on property. Um, and as you mentioned, Carl Fisher uh, purchased the property and developed it. We still have the historic um, villa um, section that he had built. So that is all um, original. We are keeping it maintained and historically accurate. Um, so, you know, a little bit separate from the resort, you can get this really, um, you know, authentic local experience and kind of feel like you're a little bit back in time on the island, which is really cool. Is that the complex with the, uh, I guess, the green cobbled yeah. for For your information, because yes. I know the history of Montauk quite well, uh, that was uh, built by a man named... Uh, Kleesrath, who uh, ah. giant speedboats and was a oh, speed wow. champion. And they held, they used to hold these speedboat races, uh, Gold Cup, they were called because they were nationally run. Oh, wow. uh, Lake Montauk, they had, they had boats in Lake Montauk going 80, 90, 100 miles an hour. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> kind then, of hard to imagine, but sounds yeah. very cool. <laughs> anyway, he built this, uh, he built that and he insisted that the roof be made of these cobbles, which he he misidentified, I think he thought they were they were from like Mexican, but I think they're more like the, something from a spa that were put up back then. Oh, but interesting. The, uh, properties. I think there's what five of them, probably in, in a little campus there. Yeah, there's about five or six, and they're all broken up into different arrangements of you know individual bedrooms or two or three bedroom um, cottages. So really a perfect place for a family or, you know, group of friends. And um, 
Star Island is a, a really beautiful location for weddings. And we have a, a really large lawn that sort of runs in between the resort and the villas. And it's right on the marina. So we set up a big tent and you get a beautiful sunset over there. So, you know, come spring, we typically open again in March and um, we start wedding season then and there. So, you know, we, we hit the ground running and um, the marina starts opening in April or May. And, you know, it really comes to life, as you sure. mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there a spa there too? A small spa? There used to be. Um, prior to my time at Gurney's, um, but, you know, that space is currently being used, um, you know, to accommodate some of the property management um, of the villas, but we also have some tennis courts over there. We've yeah. got a really cute little playground and volleyball court, and there's also a separate pool by the villa. So, you know, people who are looking for a little bit of a um, to feel a little bit more removed from the hustle and bustle. They've got a perfect place to go over there. But we also have our main pool, which is right by the restaurant called uh, Showfish. And um, we, we'll have DJs out there over the weekend. We have a great little bar out there. And of course, poolside food service. So you'll never be bored at Star Island either. <laughs> it also has a beach. And yeah, the, there's a little private beach. I came upon when I was last there were these um, ice cream trucks, which were um, from, uh, the, the, I forget the silver tone, but there were a certain kind of trailer that was popular in the 40s and 50s. Yes, the Airstreams. Airstream. And they were had been converted into little, a little uh, ice cream place. I don't know if they'll be back or not, yeah. but I just don't want to mention them. You know, we had an ice cream shop on property last summer. And um, we also had a retail shop with a watch company uh, that came in. They brought their Airstream and they were open every day selling vintage watches and, you know, trying to um, give people a little shopping experience while they uh, needed to take a break from the sun. <laughs> well, any uh, other, I guess you're just planning for this or any longer range plans that you know about for Gurney's? Yeah, well, last year, just around this time, we purchased a property in Scottsdale, Arizona. So, you know, now it's Gurney's Gone West. And um, it's really fun to see the property in Montauk kind of mellow out a little bit in the fall and winter and become a little bit more of a, um, you know, a, a secret destination in the off season while everyone's looking for their, you know, snowbird escape. Um, we have this amazing property in Scottsdale called Sanctuary. It's right at the base of Camelback Mountain. And I think what's really unique about Gurney's is that we have found um, sort of local legend properties in, uh, in resort destinations that, like you mentioned, have sort of been grandfathered in based on their um, you know, longevity. So sure. the property in Scottsdale has been there over 50 years also. And, um, you know, it sits right on the base of the mountain where you couldn't build um, just based on, you know, zoning now. So we sort of found these magical little places that have um, really so much history and personality. And, you know, people like you who have seen things grow and change in the local areas um, have such fun and interesting stories to tell. So it's really cool. There's, isn't there, there was, didn't they purchase one in New England as well somewhere? Yes, we had a property in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, right on the water. Um, that property has actually been sold and uh, we wish the new owners great success and luck. And we're looking for our next um, <laughs> piece of the, uh, property. So, you know, we'll see what happens in the future, but we're definitely looking to expand and we love um, the full service resort ideas where we have, you know, fitness and wellness as a huge component to our business, um, spa, and really that adventurous spirit that you find both in Montauk where, you know, there's a great surf community and people really um, enjoy the wildlife and hiking um, and we really get the same type of people who are looking for that adventure in uh, Scottsdale as well. So 
we'll see where we end up next. <laughs> well, thank you for taking the time to talk me, to me about New oh, Year's sure. and talk at Gurney's and, and uh, perhaps I'll see you there. That sounds great. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thanks for being on the podcast. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. -bye. Bye.